Hi, this is Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. Here with my guest, Muriel. We're going to do this second video, and then I'm going to upload these bad boys. All right. Muriel, thank you so much for helping me with this. This is such a beautiful ministry when the saints share their testimonies. God bless you, girl. You will be encouraging a lot of people through your testimonies and through your stories. Yes, ma'am. I just like I said, if I can help somebody, that'd be good. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, I know you will. Now, carry on, Sergeant. Um, well, I just noticed the Lord has been showing me stuff, and it's like He gets, like I said, He gets to the root of the problem. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not so much just taking certain things out. He shows you why you did them to begin with. You know, why did you do this? Why did you say this? Why did you, you know what I'm saying? He shows you the, what is behind it. You know what I'm right. saying? Was it because, you know, you because you have rejection issues? Is it because you have abandonment issues? Mm -hmm. Is it because, you know what I'm saying, you have control issues? He, he shows you what's behind it. Right. That, that, so, you, so you don't continue making the same, that same mistake. Right. And, uh, and it, uh, he's been showing me that. And I just, you know, not only that, but he's been showing me so many things about, like, when you different things you go through through, through through life, you know what I'm saying? He shows you, like I said, he, he's really good at showing you how people, you know, somebody else handles, you know, you know how to, to see things from other people's eyes. You know right, what I'm right, 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 right. Yeah, you know, it's like you know, and it's like you know, especially like if something if, if something were to happen, and, and you know, you know, say something were to happen, and and you were you know, a, a, a emergency or something, a tragedy were to happen. You're saying the Lord always usually sends somebody to you who's been through that, so they can they can you know they help can you navigate through. Of, yes, they, or they understand where you're coming from. You right, know? right. I, if, you, if something happens and, and, and they haven't experienced it, they're not going to have that much of an impact because you know you know you don't know how I feel. Right. If someone is going through the exact same thing, they can speak to you and pull you out of a dark place. Right. You know better mm -hmm. than anybody can because they know what you went and they had to you know get pulled out themselves. Thank you. Yes. Oh, that is so true. I'm going to share something with you. This is something that was so bizarre to me. I had a young lady call me one day. Now, at this particular time, I wasn't quite sure where she stood with the Lord. Wasn't quite sure. But she called me. And because I wasn't quite sure, I wasn't that compassionate. Now, she calls me, but before she calls me, God prepares me for her call. Let me tell you how God prepared me. Very bizarre. I had this dream that I was having sex with a man. And in the dream, the sex was really, really good. I felt every physical sensation. Trust me. As soon as that scene stopped, this it's like the, the remote was hit and I'm over in the church with all the folks at church. And the feeling of shame and bondage and fear and oh no, can they see it on my face what I just got through doing? Oh no, I got to get away from them. I can't have them seeing me like this. I mean, you talk about utter terror. All right. So what happened was that dream woke me up because it was so depressing and so scary. As soon as I woke up, I said, Lord, why would I have a crazy dream like that? I'm not even in that place. I hope that's not a warning of something to come. Sure enough, within about three hours, the phone rings and a young lady calls me. That's that call I was telling you about. And she starts to tell me how she wants to share a confession in confidence with me. And she shares her confession. Her confession was identical to what I had experienced. Everything I was experiencing, I was actually experiencing hers. Is that crazy? That happened about 30 years ago. Maybe 30, no, about 34 years ago. That happened that far ago. And the, cr the crazy part was on top of that, 
she had some other horrible things happen that she was totally ashamed of. And she was confessing one thing after the next and it was like bad got to worse. You can let your imagination follow and see where that went. And bad got to worse and it just got ridiculous. Well, what I'm saying all that to say is God will, as Mariel just pointed out, show you a different perspective. He will show you another person's experience because she needed someone to confide in. But she needed somebody who knew what it felt like, what she went through, and somebody who would have compassion on her, not, hmm, I was wondering what her walk was like. Mm -mm. I didn't care what her walk was like. I felt so bad for her because I knew the torment she had dealt with. I had nothing but compassion, nothing but mercy for her. I understood. So anyway, I, I'll let you finish off, Muriel, and then we're going to close. That is so rich. Thank you. you know, Sister Lord, he's been showing me, like you're know, saying, why I why I had, would do things, what the, what is the reason behind things, you know what I'm saying? And it's just, I, I noticed that it's not just so much taking away things. He shows you why you did these things so you don't do them again. He shows you... You know, saying how, you know, then he, like I said, he shows you from the other perspective and stuff like that. And then, you know, it's just, you know, he, he it's a, like you said, it's a process, of, you know, and uh, I, I know a lot of people, I and mean, myself including, you, you think, you know, things are going to happen, you know, quickly or you're going to happen in a certain way. And things don't happen, you know, saying things don't happen the way you always think they're going to happen. Mm -hmm. The Lord, you know, saying he does things his own way because he knows what's best. Thank and the way you. he does things, you may, you may look at it at one point and say, okay, I don't know why you're doing it this way. I don't understand. Are you having to say to me? What is this? But then when you the bigger picture shows, and he and he always does, he is faithful. He will show you what he's doing. You get to a certain point and you're like, oh, man, that's, that's what he was doing. That's why. Mm -hmm. That's why he did that. That's why. You know what I'm saying? And you, you, you get to, to that point. And knowing that when he shows you, it, in, it instills more faith and love, you know, in you towards him. Then you can see that he does have your best interest at heart. Yes. You may not know the road he's, he's taking you down. If you trust in him, you know, you, you know you're going to go to a place where you need to be. Exactly. And I'm going to close with this. I was sitting in church during a fast one time. And you talk about God knowing us better than we know ourselves. He pointed something out in me, Muriel, that I didn't even know was there. I'm sitting there, living a holy life, praising God, walking in his holiness, in his righteousness, going to church, being faithful in the choir, doing everything, reading his word, praying, doing everything I can think to do to be as good a, a Christian as I could be. Mm -hmm. And then the Lord in all his wisdom, all his everlasting wisdom, points out something to me that floored me. I was so devastated because I didn't even know it was there. He began to rehearse to me my thoughts of a particular individual in the church. Doesn't take all that. Look at her. She's trying to be a movie star. She, you know, might as well throw a cape on her and, and let her croon like the 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 the, uh, the rock and roll singers used to do back in the day. Look at that. Blah, 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 blah. Every time you turn around, they calling her up. They calling her up. Boy, I tell you, they don't even recognize. I mean, my mind was going there. Now, I never said it to anyone. This was all going on in my mind. In my mind. I was nice to her. I was polite to her. I hugged her when I saw her. But I still had reservations about this woman. And the Holy Spirit just quietly said, Ah, psst, psst, hello, hello, knock, knock. Uh, yes, Lord, you are jealous of her. What? What? Are you serious? Uh, and then he he quoted the thoughts verbatim in sentences. And I was like, oh, my goodness, I am. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. You know what? 
I wanted to put the devil on front street. You ain't going to tie me up in that trick bag again. I stood up when they asked for prayer requests, and I asked that woman publicly to forgive me for a private sin. I said, I judged you, and I was jealous of you. And that's why I judged you, and I was critical of you. I really apologize. God just told me I've been jealous of you all this time. Because the woman could sing. I mean, she could sing. That's why we have to be careful. Those little, you know, they say it's the small fox, the little foxes that spoil the vine. Not the big one, the little ones. And those are, are the ones that slither into our hearts, our minds, our spirits. Our, oh my goodness, we've got to guard our salvation with everything we've got. And we that's why the Bible, that's why Jesus said, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. When God told Muriel about herself, those times, when God tells me about myself, millions of times, and we see it, we humble ourselves, we acknowledge the truth and agree with God, that's when we're set free. Yeah, uh, a trick that the Lord has showed me, whenever you start to have anything in your head as far as, as, as jealousy or pride or anything like that, like you, said, like you said, confess it right off the bat, but then if it's about somebody, start praying for that person. There you go. So like, Excellent. It's like, it's like you basically, you say, it's cutting the head off the snake. Right. He can't, he can't use, you know what I'm saying? He can't move, he can't do anything. Cause That's you're right. Cutting, cutting the head off. That's right. The Lord has shown me that I had a... a where I was had bitterness in me, and I had where I couldn't be ha truly happy for somebody, and I didn't understand why. And it all goes back to 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 issues with you know self esteem. It goes back to issues of abandonment. It goes back to all these you know all these issues. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and all that goes back to to, to those to those issues. You know what I'm saying? And so, but when you when you discover that. You know what I'm saying? Then you have to guard your heart from it because the Lord's showing you, okay, that's your weakness. Right. The enemy's going to attack you with that every time. So you know you need to, when that pops in your head, confess it out loud to him. That's Doesn't right. Matter what you do, confess, stop it. Confess it out loud. Ask the Lord to forgive you. Either pray for that person or ask the Lord to cleanse your heart of it. Right. To, to handle it that moment. Don't dwell on it. Don't, oh, I wonder if that, no. Handle it right then and there. And don't that's, justify that's, that's it. Thing. And all you got, but then... Go to the root. Ask the Lord, why did I feel that? Why did that? What What am I, what in me is deficient? What do I need from you, Father? Because everything we need, we can get from him. That's right. Everything. We, everything we need. Everything we need. If you, if, if, if you need love, you get it from him. If you need attention, you get it from him. If you need self-worth, self-esteem, you get all that from him and from his love. You get all that from him. So you ask him, what am I deficient, Father? What do I need from you that I'm not getting, that I need to pray for, I need to, to seek you for? Right. Girl, he, thank you. He can fill in that hole. That's right. Thank you so much, girl. Listen, you guys, we're going to close because the time is flying. But I thank you so much, Mariel. Oh, my goodness. You said you, you showed such great points. And I know many people are going to get insights from the things you shared. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. God bless you for what you did. God bless just, you for taking the time to help me. I'm just glad that, that was, if I'm able to help somebody. Can I make just one really quick point? Yeah, that, yeah. Okay, something else the Lord showed me. If you're, you know, I, I noticed that, you know, um, when people are going through things, they ask, okay, well, why am I going through this? Why am I going through this? Okay, look back on your life. Mm -hmm. Look back on your life and see, you know what I'm saying? See, you know, where, you know things that you have done like that, because I'm telling you, like, say, if, if you did something to somebody the Lord, and, and you get saved, the Lord is going to have you experience what you did to somebody else. He's going to have you experience it. Now, okay, I want to make a disclaimer. I'm not saying that you're paying for your sin. No, the no. Lord Jesus Christ paid for our sin. What I'm saying is the Lord wants you to see from that person's perspective what, what you, you did what to you, them. What went through. And I give you scripture for that. Do you know um, in Genesis when Jacob and his mother, um, they tricked uh, Isaac and, 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 and Esau, and they, they tricked him, right? Okay, what happened? He, you know, Jacob, you know, went on to his house, and what happened? He met um, Rachel and everything, and you see, he, the same thing, he, same way he tricked, he was, he tricked somebody else is the same way he got tricked. Right. Now, was the Lord 
Lord with him. Yeah, the Lord was with him. How did him see that? Right. Is the Lord wanted him to see what it felt like? Right. Exactly. Why? Because, why? So a he wouldn't do it, but b and also so that he would see how it how it affected somebody else, and so you can have that compassion and you can help somebody else as well. And it can stop you from doing it again. That's yeah, right. Yeah. That's right. That's part of what builds up our holiness. The Bible says, Godly sorrow worketh repentance. And repentance is about faith in your behavior. God. Yes. Oh, girl. Thank yes, the you. The Lord will show you that. He'll, yes. You say, Lord, Lord, and, he, and you really want to know. And he shows you that. And he'll, that's what he wants you to repent. Because you know, he'll show you like, oh, and he'll show you what, what that lines up with. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like exactly. That, exactly. Like, you know, in like in Genesis, like I said, with, with Jacob, with how he had to go through the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Or mm -hmm. think about it, you know, King David. You know, he had that whole uh, conspiracy to kill Uriah because, right. you know, he, got, you know. Uh, he wanted his uh, wife. Uh, right. Wife and everything. Think about that. What did he have to go through with his son Absalom? Right. Right. Same thing. Exactly. So he, he went through the same thing he put someone else through. Think of, you know, it, 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 it repeats to the Bible if you look through that. It, yes. it, it does. It does. Yes, it does. It does. Lord, it, it helps you get through it. Yes, he helps you get through it, but he also shows you so you can repent. So you, and, you, and he'll show you, you're going through this because of this. Right. I'm going to be with you, I'm going to be with you through it, but you need to experience this. You need to do this because not only is it going to help you, it's going to help you grow. Exactly. Now, we're going to end so, on that note right there. Thank you, everybody. God bless you. God bless you, Mario, for sharing. And we will do this again real soon. I promise. Yeah. God bless you guys. And you take heed to what was said tonight. This was Rich.